poor devil. Look at the way he's breathing. He's scared to death. That oxygen should relax him. Slow down his breathing. No, we want him to breathe fast. In Piedmont, Jackson was cracked on sterno. Sterno acidosis. Acidosis, rapid breathing. What the hell are you doing? Turn off the oxygen. Put him on room air. The baby, he's normal. Cries all the time. Can't catch his breath. Rapid breathing or it just can't be that simple? It isn't. Dutton, I think rapid breathing helps. Don't let the bug in your lungs long enough to penetrate blood vessels. I want to turn off the pure oxygen, then you start breathing room air as fast as you can. No. No, I, I was running a test in here. The air is thick with Andromeda. Experiment with your own life, damn it. We won't do it, Charlie. Take it easy. I know I'm close. I'm sure it has something to do with blood chemistry and breathing. Dr. Hall, may I please feed the baby now, Dr. Hall? He's been crying steadily ever That's since... That's what I had... want. Keep him crying and run another blood value on him. Get his pH measurements. Yes, doctor. With all the yelling, blowing off carbon dioxide, the kid should have too little acid. Alkalotic. A blood condition just the opposite from the old man. Too much alkali. Well, what good does that do, Dutton? Karen, where's the blood test? It's coming through now on your console. Hell of a way to run a hospital. Just what you expected. Opposite blood chemistries, the baby and the old man. One of them should be a dead opposite. But he's not. There must be a connection. They both stayed alive at Piedmont, breathing the same air. One's blood too alkaline, the other too acid. Yes. Yes! Dutton, I'm turning off the oxygen. Breathe fast and hard. No, Jeremy, don't let him cut off my oxygen. No! The air in that room is low. Air doesn't matter. Blood does. That's the answer. I need 30 seconds to run a growth program. You could die in 30 seconds. Besides, I'll have checked all the growth programs. She might have missed something. Epileptics blank out. I want to see how the growth of Andromeda is affected by blood chemistry, the pH. Oh, damn. You do it. Excellent. The graph's practically straight up and down. That means Andromeda can only exist within a narrow range of pH. A very narrow range. On either side of the tolerance range, no growth. Nothing, right? It's exterminated. Dutton, our troubles are over. Look at your console. It grows within a narrow range of pH. A very narrow range. If your blood's abnormal, if it's too acid or alkaline, Andromeda can't survive in the body. So breathe as fast as you can. Go into respiratory alkalosis. Yes, fine. That'll suit your blood chemistry to hell. It's what happens to the baby when he cries too much or the old man on sterno. How do you feel? Okay. Uh, a little dizzy, but okay. He can't keep breathing like that forever. He'll hyperventilate, pass out. We've got to get him something to alkalize his blood. Oh, we can't even there. Charlie, that cage in the hot room, right in front of you. It's alive. The rat's been exposed as long as I have. Longer. I exposed it to the cultures before the seal broke. Precisely. Andromeda's mutated to a non-infectious form. 